Okay, we're going to get to start off with uh, getting our ingredients together. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in this egg here. We're going to crack this bad boy open. And he's kind of lonely. Uh, let's see, yeah, he's kind of lonely because there's nothing in there yet. But we're going to rectify that quick okay then after that we're going to put a little bit of mustard in here we're going to probably say probably maybe like a, a tablespoon at best not too much you don't want to throw off the flavor then we're going to put some mayonnaise um, to add in. I'm not going to show you the brand name because I don't want to get taken down from YouTube. But we're going to put in a, a tablespoon full, maybe two tablespoons full. One, and then there's two. Okay. And then we're going to mix this all up here. And they say to mix it together so that uh, the egg will serve as a binder and the, the mustard will definitely add a little bit of flavor to it as well as add some extra oomph to it. And everybody puts mustard in their crab cakes too. I like crab, crab cakes with mustard because I can really taste it, but I don't want the mustard to be too overwhelming. Okay? Next, we're going to put in a little bit of Worcestershire sour sauce. Um, they say to put this in here. So they say like a, a, a teaspoon. So we're going to do that real quick. A teaspoon of Worcestershire sour sauce. Okay. That went in. You can see it. Yep. What's that baby? Around a little bit. Worcestershire sour sauce um, is good, good for a lot of things. We use it to uh, add to our turkey burgers to give it some color and a little bit of flavor. Worcestershire sour sauce, lower blown fat, has anchovies in it. So there is a little bit of fish in here also. So that's always good. And uh, next, we're going to put in some Old Bay seasoning which we'll put in to add to the flavor. Traditional Merlin style crab cakes has obey, and this has all of your other seasons that you need because what this does, it, it adds, it has everything. Uh, the seasoning, the salt, the pepper, um, and it has other seasonings. Um, to add to the crab cakes. You all can you also can use it for steaming regular crabs too. So we're gonna put some in here now. We're gonna just go just by sight a little bit here. You wanna put in probably like maybe like a maybe two teaspoons. Okay, as you can see, that's what it looks like. And we're gonna Mix this bad boy up. Okay. All right. You're just gonna taste it a little bit and see what this, this consists of so far. Okay. Not that bad gonna put a little bit of, they also say put a little bit of lemon juice in here, so I get some lemon juice. Okay. Don't have any real lemons, but I got some concentrate. So I'm gonna put in a teaspoon in here. Mm. 
Okay. There we go. And we're going to mix this bad boy up again. I think I might want to add a, maybe a teeny bit more of Old Bay Spice seasoning, excuse me. So I'm just going to put just a teeny bit more. Because I don't want to overwhelm it because I don't know how well this is going to balance yet. This is the first time I've made this and I, I don't want to put too much stuff in it. Okay, and then the next thing is um, crab. Okay, now the crab I'm using is not traditional Maryland crab. This is from China. Okay, trade embargo, I guess. And it's not Maryland style, but uh, one of my friends told me that uh, this was some good crab meat to get from the store, and it was only $12. 99 and he said it was pretty good. I also talked to one of the ladies at the shop at the uh, Shopping center where I got this shopping uh, Store and she said this is also good meat is pasteurized too And she liked it and so far it looks it looks pretty good. I've tasted a little bit of a piece of taste taste tastes okay So let's put this in here now And then we'll see everybody get along okay came down like that that's good okay. Okay. all right everybody looks good and smell is pretty good now we're gonna mix everything together It smells pretty good. Now, I want to take good care on this because I want to make, want to make sure I have lumps. I like lump crab meat. I like lump crab cakes. I don't want to overly mix this up because then I'll destroy the lumps. Uh, I, this is one case where I don't like lumps. I like lumpy oatmeal, cream of wheat, but not crab cakes. But <laughs> did I say that right? I hope I did. Okay, it smells pretty good. So the last thing I'm going to add is just some breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs are going to help to bind this when I finally do mold my crab cakes up, okay? And I'm not gonna do that right now. This is gonna rest for a number of hours so that I can at least uh, have everything melt together and then we'll see how everything runs out. Okay, so this is approximately maybe three ounces or less of breadcrumbs, okay? It might not be keto friendly, but we don't, we're not even adding a lot, okay? As a matter of fact, I only put in maybe like half of this. But I think this is going to work because it's already coming together real nice. And it smells really, really good. I wish you could smell this. Okay, and we're going to put just a teeny bit more so that everything binds together. And like I said, we're gonna let this rest for a number of hours, and then we'll come back to this with a second phase of cooking this, of these crab cakes, okay? Okay, so I'll catch you guys on the other side. Okay, folks, we're, we're back. Now this has been, this is the crab cakes here. I'm going to make them in the balls in a few minutes and then we're going to cook them up. And, uh, and we, I like to have my crab cakes broiled. So we're going to broil this at about 550 degrees for probably uh, 8 to 10 minutes. And they're going to be golden brown and delicious. I'm just going to show you this right now. I'm going to put them into uh, a pan 
and then uh, I'll be back shortly. Okay, folks, this is, I'm finished. These are the crab cakes right here. These came out very perfect. I mean, like the color on them. I wish you had smell of vision because these crab cakes do smell delicious. I, I, as I said, I like my crab cakes with, uh, put them in the, in the uh, boiler, and they came out perfectly. And that one just fell a little, fell a little apart, but still, uh, we get to him. So, let me just try a little piece of one of this guy right here. Mmm. Very delicious. Has good color. Good taste, not salty. I'm gonna say that this is a win. So please check out these this uh these crab cakes. Uh the the way that I cooked them and the keto diet. And I'll see you guys later. If you like the video, please, please send it to somebody else and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.